the prophet is born. One day while travelling north, one of one of the Arab tribes from Mecca met a hermit in the desert. Some of the men stopped to speak with him. Hermits were known to be wise and the Arabs often asked the advice. The hermit asked where they had come from. They, When they replied that they were from Mecca, he told them that Allah would soon send a prophet who would come from their people. They asked the name of this prophet and the hermit answered that his name would be Muhammad and that he would guide them to a new way of life. Do you understand the word hermit? No. Okay, hermit is actually a priest, a religious person. Okay, a religious person who uh, was uh, knowledgeable about the uh, Christian religion in that time. Meanwhile, in Mecca, um, Amina, although saddened by the loss of her husband, felt especially well and strong, and she awaited the birth of her baby. During this time, she dreamt of many things. On one occasion, it was as if a great light were shining out of her, and on another, she heard a voice telling her that she would have a boy and that his name would be Muhammad. She never forgot that voice, but she told no one about it. On, on Monday, the 12th day of Rabbi El Awal, in the year of the elephant, Amina gave birth to a son. Allah sends man many signs when one of his chosen prophets is born. And on that twelfth day a, uh, of Rabi El Awal in the year 570 AD, Many such signs were seen. Some were seen. Some were seen by Jewish scholars who had read in the scriptures of a coming prophet. One of these learned men in yes, 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 yes. for. Yathrib, for instance, saw a brilliant new star he had never seen before as he studied the heavens that night. He called the people around him and pointing the star out to them, told them a prophet must have been born. That same night, another Jew was passing by the meeting place of the leaders of Quraysh in Mecca. He asked them if a baby boy had just been born and told them that if it were true, this would be the prophet of the Arab nations. Amina, Ami Amina sent news of the birth to her father-in-law, Abd al Mutab. Muttalib, Muttalib, who was sitting near the Kaaba at the time. He was very happy and began at once to think of a name for the boy. An ordinary name would not do. Six days came and went and still he had not decided. But on the seventh day, as he lay asleep near the Kaaba, Abd al Mutalib dreamt that he should give the baby the unusual name of Muhammad. Just uh, as Amina herself had dreamt. And the child was called Muhammad, peace be upon him, which means the praised one. When 
أبدأ المتلب تعود المتلب تعود the leaders of Quraysh what he had named his grandson. Many of them asked, why did you not? Why did you not choose the sort of name that is used by our people? At once he replied, I want him to be praised by Allah in the heavens and praised by men on earth.